Hi, I'm John Storms, and I am going to show you how to configure the Global Cache IP2IR IR transmitter or IR controller. So it's really, really simple. So it comes with a default address of 192.168.1.70. Okay, and of course I have my computer on 192.168.1.200 so that they can talk. And here I'm, I have the web interface for the global cache device. So it has a little overview of what it does. Here you have an authentication mode where you can set up a username and password. I've left this blank. I'm not terribly worried about security on a closed network. Um, and then for network settings here, you can enable it to uh, pick up DHCP, which I prefer to have a static IP address. So. I'm going to change it to 201, so it's 192.168.1.201. Technically, the gateway would be 192.168.1.254. Yeah, the way I would number this network, but actually, I don't have a router on this network, but it doesn't matter. Uh, it would either be 1.1 or 1.2.54. It's usually the way people do it. But I don't have one, so it doesn't matter. Putting it there one way or the other doesn't hurt, so I hit save, and it's going to reboot. Now, I try to get to the device, and it's gonna, it should say can't get there because the IP address has changed. So that's a good way to verify that the new IP address is taken. So I go 192.168.1.201. And I hope. Yep, and so now it's on 192.168.1.201. Like I said before, I'm not going to do any authentication. Here are the new network settings. And then here you can set the infrared ports. So you can set, you know, basically different uh, different modes, but I'm in the standard unit mode. Configuration, you have three IR emitters, okay? And each one says what you, you know, the different things you can use. I just leave the first two on IR out. The third one you want to make sure is IR blaster if you're using it for the uh, glow with the show ears. This will get you a little bit better range. Not great range, but probably on the order of 20 to 30 feet, which is close enough where if you stick on the edge of your yard, people sitting out front will uh, will see it. And, okay, so and then I save that, and it's done. That's all there is to setting up the IP2IR. So that's it.